fellow people of Ghana and, and the diaspora, I have this short message, especially for those abroad. Actually, some videos are trending on the social media and people over there are comparing Ghana's economy with the one abroad. The benefits in Ghana is different from benefits that you people receive from the government over there. The youth of Ghana are suffering. We are trying to voice out what actually is going on. We are, we are suffering and we, we can't be quiet. And it's just unfortunately that our brothers and sisters outside there are telling us, claiming that it's a global crisis. If it is global crisis, there are opportunities that you get over there. The opportunities your children get over there during their education. Is it the same thing we are getting over here? In as much as you love your children, will you use your money to pay their fees? You won't do that. You allow the government to support them. In Ghana, do we have such opportunities? No, we don't have it. You are comparing Ghana to the Western world. Children, for instance, in Ghana, have you ever seen that this economic crisis that we are going through, some children are sleeping on the streets, nowhere to sleep, no food to eat, sleeping under our bridges, sleeping in the marketplaces, sleeping on the streets. Have you seen any government supporting them? The leaders are quiet about it. How are they going to survive? But in the Western world, okay, the government supports them. The government take care of them. Is it the same in Ghana? Please stop comparing Ghana with the Western uh, world. It is far different. The system over there is well established and it's working. Ghana, our system is not working. So if we are complaining, this is not the time you sympathize with any political party. This is the time you feel empathy with the people of Ghana. This is the time that you step into the shoe that we are wearing. That as we are saying it, believe us, we are here and feeling the heat. And if you think that is the same, why won't you come down and live here with us? For instance, let's take fuel. You sleep and wake up, and then the fuel rise, boom, it has risen up. And if the fuel prices goes up, it affects every movement in this nation. It affects everything. Fuel prices are going up, but salaries are not being increased. And we are voicing that the heat is too much for us. We need wisdom. We need people with wisdom to come and support this economy to be better, to be stabilized. Stop comparing it with the Western world. Stop comparing it. You just sleep and all of a sudden, boom, poor price has gone up, transportation has risen up. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, actually, with the fuel prices, we said it's shooting, it's shooting, keep on shooting up. We agree that it is globally. But if it is globally, salaries are not being increased by your income over there. Are they not increased? Is it the same as Ghanaians? It's not the same. So please, if you have nothing to say, and we are trying to voice out our grievances, shut up. Let's check our agriculture sector. Why should Ghana be suffering for food? If you want to eat, a family of two cannot spend 100 CD. We can't even manage 100 CD. But in abroad, do you want to tell me that if you take $10, $20, you can't buy food and eat for your family of two or three? We are suffering here. A lot of vegetation, but we are suffering. Food stuff is expensive. Very, very expensive this year in Ghana. Please, if you think it's, it's the same thing, come to Ghana and let's all face this. It is time for you to confront the facts and put politics aside. That politics that is in your blood that you left Ghana with, please put it aside. This is a different Ghana and this is something different we are experiencing that we have never experienced. Ghana has gotten to a certain point, okay, that the youth in senior high school especially are fed up with education. They don't even want to go back to school. Why? Because 
Measures are not being put down properly for this free senior high school thing. There is no food to eat. They go to school and there is no food. Some people are eating, I heard some people are eating Tom Brown, morning, evening, and afternoon. And we are voicing out our grievances. You said we should shut up. You are over there, abroad. It is by the grace of God that you found yourself in somebody's land and learned that they have put measures down. They have set things up for you and you are enjoying it and you are asking us to shut up. Shut up how? We will not die in silence. On behalf of the youth of Ghana that are suffering, we are begging and pleading with our sisters and brothers in the diaspora that are claiming that this economic crisis is globally, should come down here, pack their bags and come down here so we all feel the heat together. If only they think we are exaggerating too much.